on this taste of Cali. Ooh. This is my favorite pizza here. We eat it all the time. A veteran is making waves in the Sacramento Valley with his sourdough pizza. The crust is awesome. This is good to know. My pizza is gonna get better at home. But You're stealing my recipe. Hi, this is Cammie and I'm on the corner of Live Oak in Queens here in Yuba City and we're going to go inside a Silvio's Pizzeria and Deli and see just what makes their sourdough crust and sauce so delicious. Owner Doug Zwalski served in the U.S. Air Force for 24 years. Silvio special please. After retiring from the service, Doug decided to chase his boyhood dream of owning a pizzeria. It's great to see customers come in, enjoy our location, bring their family, bring their friends. <laughs> Doug nearly went the franchise route, but just before he inked the paperwork, fate led him to Kelly Purvis. Kelly started the original Silvio's in the nearby town of Gridley. Yeah, I've been in here eating a lot of people come down from Gridley actually to eat here. With some amazing recipes and a loyal fan base on his side, Kelly easily convinced his friend Doug to become partners and open a Silvio's in Yuba City. They've quickly captured the attention and the taste buds of the locals, thanks in large part to their sourdough crust. The crust is awesome. And you hear so many times, finally we have a great pizza in Yuba City. Doug recently bought out Kelly and became the sole owner. Now he's running things with military precision. We take pride in our quality and our consistency. So Doug, I want you to show me what makes your sourdough pizza dough so amazing. All right, we're gonna start with some yeast. And we have some water that's already pre-measured as far as temperature. And we're gonna let that sit about five minutes. This is our special sourdough mix that we get from the Bay Area. We're gonna mix that into also another pre-measured water with pre-measured temperature. We're gonna go ahead and put the yeast into the sourdough water and mix that all together. So we're gonna take this over to the 60 quart mixer. We're gonna pour it in. Then we're gonna grab the bag of flour. And we're gonna install the dough whip on the bucky. We're gonna start it. Go ahead and crank this sucker up. And then we set a timer for 12 minutes and another timer for two minutes. It's like a KitchenAid on steroids. <laughs> you want to make sure that the water hydrates the flour first, and then the oil just coats those flour molecules. After it's 12 minutes of mixing, each batch of dough is allowed to rest for 24 hours. In the meantime, Doug shows me how he makes his sauce. So we're gonna dump oil in, and we add our sugar. We're going to mix the sugar and the oil together. So we're gonna let that sit for a second. And we're going to go ahead and pull our bucket up that we make it in five gallon increments. We're going to add one and a half of the ground tomatoes and we're going to lower it all the way down into the bucket so that we don't make a mess. We're going to add these two heavy ones next, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and add basil, that's thyme, and then we add a pre-measured amount of oregano. These are standard Italian seasonings. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Some people say potato, some people say potato. You say Italian. <laughs> I say potato. Yeah. You say? Potato. Do you hear it coming alive? So we want to actually let the sauce just sit on top of and simmer on top of the seasoning. This is good to know. My pizza is going to get better at home. But You're stealing my recipe. No, I'm not going to steal your, just your method. I didn't realize were it's, in the a, it's a very efficient way to yeah. mix the sauce. We're going to mix this all up. We're going to add this mixture to the sauce. So you make pizza at home? I mean, I'm going to now. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to do one last mix on this. And once you get the consistency, then you're done. And now you're going to show me how to make a pizza pie. Yes, some okay. a large, large ball of dough that okay. sat for 24 hours. We're gonna flour it, put it through the beast, top side, we flip it, and then we put it through the bottom side. So this is actually the skin of the pizza, they call it a skin. So then we sit it down on the screen and we're gonna grab some sauce. Now what kind of pizza are we making? We are making a Sylvia's special. The reason for the overlap is we actually 
pull this dough and we flip it and then we push it to the edge and we're trapping sauce. And the more sauce in the crust, the, the less the crust will pop up. Big handful of cheese, use their fingers as a rake. Then we add pepperonis, salami. Now the next thing is the linguiça. This is a Portuguese sausage. Next are the olives. This is feta, uh, this is or feta. Oh, okay. feta is a goat cheese, and then we use a little bit of white sauce on the top. We drizzle it, and then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of cheese, just a light snowflake cover. And then we're ready to throw this bad boy in the oven. In the oven. Seven minutes for the pizza. Sylvia's special. And it's ready to serve. And that cheers the pizza. That's really good. What I like is that the crust all the way through is mm -hmm. actually crunchy. It doesn't get that soggy, waterlogged like mm -hmm. most pizzas do. It's so good that I'm not embarrassed to make a mess and eat on camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> when we return, Doug shows me how he puts together his Mediterranean chicken calzone. And then we kind of do a little rock like this, and it spreads the toppings inside. It's so good. Does your business or organization need t-shirts for your staff or team? Do you have a clothing line you've been dying to launch? Spunko Screen Printing is your source for custom shirts, hats, sweaters, and more at a price that won't break the bank. Spunko's experienced in-house artists will also work with you to create a design that is guaranteed to stand out at little to no extra cost. Visit spuncoprint.com or call 530-586-4657 and print your idea today. Birds are the most widespread form of animal on Earth. Avocados are the world's most nutritious fruit and contain the most fat. The ocean is full of minerals that are healthy for our skin. Cami here with Doug Zwalski, owner of Silvio's Pizzeria and Deli. Next on the menu, I give Doug a hand with one of his specialty dishes, the Mediterranean chicken calzone. So press down with your hands like this and you're gonna squeeze some of the air out. Oh, okay. that was a lot it, of air. It's kind of burp, it's called burp of the dough. And that's our calzone skin. Go yes. ahead and do the sauce, a little bit more. And then we take a handful of cheese, a handful of chicken. So we've and then got, the chicken you guys are making every morning, fresh in house. Yes, okay. boneless breast, we season it, we bake it in the oven. Then we grab a handful of olives. Uh, Peppertines? Yes, ma'am. So then we take the artichoke hearts, we just pop the, the heart like that and spread it out. Some Italian seasoning on it. And then, of course, nothing better than topping it all off with cheese. cheese. Yes. Okay, so the fun part. Close it like that. We're sealing up the dough. And then we're gonna, we're basically gonna fold this over itself. And then we kind of do a little rock like this and it spreads the toppings inside. We're gonna sit it on the screen like this, our butter, then our big knife. Take the cows out and throw it in the oven. And it's ready to serve just like that. So good. Mm -hmm. The white sauce and the cheese, the way everything melts, and the crunchiness of the dough. All of it is so good. You like pizza? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the chicken calzone. Yeah, so. That's yeah. what I just had. How yeah. good is that? It's delicious. delicious. This is my That's favorite good. pizza here. We eat it all the time. And we split it, which is. Yeah. We will be back. Well, yeah. Yeah. What I like too is I like to support him because he's um, a veteran. Yeah. It's good food. Is it yummy? My name is Natalie Haskell. I'm the owner of Elevated Fitness Studio. I feel like working out and being happy go hand in hand. 
I am extremely shy. I wanted to become an instructor and open up my own studio so that I could teach other people how to get over their shyness and become more confident too. I teach pole fitness classes, aerial silks, lira, lots of stretching, contortion, and strength training. And it's like running off with the circus. <laughs> Join us again for another Taste of Cali. Flat on the set, ready when you are. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on? Did I do that? Yeah, well, Can I do that? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs>